it's good to come down here to Toowoomba. There's a lot of history um, that brings everyone together down here, versus city versus country, and it's great to get out there and have a physical battle with guys that you train with week in, week out, and um, to retain the Andy Purcell Cup is, is awesome. Yeah, absolutely, it's gonna be very tough. Um, I think the plan is Monday, have the day off, Tuesday, get back into it, rip into each other, and turn up Thursday in front of Ballymore, Ballymore home crowd. Uh, obviously, a uh, good experience myself. I'm back to Toowoomba, family and friends out there watching. Um, good, good to see get in front of the old uh, schoolmates and that, so yeah, good opportunity for me. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, we knew Brisbane City, Queensland country, always going to be a big physical battle. Um, you know, we've got, got a bit of pride on the line there, so a couple of big hits out there from both sides, yeah, definitely physical, physical battle. Uh, oh, look, we spoke about it in the sheds and the boys' effort's been really good across the first three three games against some pretty fair opposition. We've just got to make sure we keep bridging that gap between a close loss to a good win. Yeah, the boys were good. We uh, obviously lost Radiki and Chris Sortier pretty early on in that first half, which didn't help us. But the boys that came on did a really good job uh, finishing off the game for us. Um, but again, like I said, we've just got to make sure we um, close out those closer games rather than just be accepting close losses. Oh, it was great. Darling Downs uh, is a pretty proud sporting town. We knew that we'd get good support out here by the public and they definitely showed up and cheered the boys on, which made a difference for them. 